What is going on guys? Welcome back to your 30 second JavaScript tutorial. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be talking about the last array methods. Now there are a couple more that I didn't cover, but these are the most basic ones, most well known, and also the ones that you're going to be working with the most often. So if you want to uh, learn all of them, then I don't know, go on like the website for JavaScript arrays or something. But for now, I think this is all I need to cover. So in this tutorial I'm going to be teaching you about the reverse push and sort methods so before we get into that we actually need an array and I'm going to make an array of body parts so I'm just going to name it BP because you know way too lazy to type out body parts so let's go ahead and put like head shoulders knees and can you guess toes head shoulders knees and toes knees and toes anyways so the first thing I'm going to be teaching about is called the reverse method and what this does is you take your array and you reverse it it doesn't take any parameters because you're just reversing it so now our BP array is toes knees shoulders and head as opposed to head shoulders head shoulders knees and toes so I'm not going to print it out because trust me it reversed it just believe me so aside from that the next method I want to show you guys is something called the push method. Now, the push method is kind of the opposite is pop, of pop. You know how pop took the last element and removed it from the end of your array? What the push method does is it adds element onto the end of your array. So, you can either add one element or multiple elements. So, for example, if you wanted to add one element on the end of your array, you would push one element on like tongue and this would add tongue to the end of your array if you wanted to add another one you can either call this method again or you can just separate it with a parameter and add another body part to the end of your array so what this would do is add these elements onto the end of your array simple enough so the last method I want to talk to you guys about that I'm going to introduce is called the sort method and all this does is it takes all your elements in your array and it sorts them in alphabetical order so no matter if you reverse them push them or what you did before this is now going to take all of these elements and sort them out in alphabetical order and replace them in your array so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to print this out on the screen and by the time I'm doing this and by the time I'm done writing this code I want you guys to see if you can type all these in alphabetical order so let me see if I can code this or you can type it faster so ready set go string one equals BP join oh, crap crap I'm getting too nervous BP join document right wow if you guys don't win then that is embarrassing document right string one now let me go ahead save refresh and bam so I'm guessing that since I was incredibly slow I think I took like 20 seconds that is what you guys should have guessed so if you can um sort this manually faster than I can then that's embarrassing if I didn't have like 8,000 typos then you know maybe I'd stand a chance but anyways now that I just raised you guys let me explain what I just did what I did is I joined them and remember what this method does it takes your array and it converts it to a string separated by a comma and it stored that in the variable string one and then all I did is I wrote string one on the screen so that's how I got this so basically we reversed it we pushed two elements on and then it sorted it so basically reverse and it did nothing but anyways we did it anyways so we basically added two elements into this array and we sorted it alphabetically and as you can see now this array is in alphabetical order H K L S T T so that's alphabetical order there you go so that's all I have for you guys for different array methods um, like I said there are more array methods but I'm not going to be talking about all of them with you guys so that's all I have for you guys for this tutorial and next tutorial we're probably going to be talking more about arrays but I promise we're done with array methods for now so thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next video